Friends, welcome to the channel Physics by Ideas. In this video, we will discuss about the basic concepts of effective mass. So, in solid state physics, uh, if we uh, learn chronic penny model, then we will get introduced to the term effective mass. So many of the students face difficulty to understand what is the concept of effective mass and how do you correlate with the physics or physical meaning of effective mass with the reality. So first of all, I would like to tell you that effective mass is not a mass of the electron. Okay, It is not the actual mass. So it is a, like a uh, effect of uh, electrons when it is not free it is confined in a potential in a periodic potential the mass is going to be changed and the mass is repla replaced by effective mass and this effective mass can be positive effective mass can be negative effective mass can be larger or smaller than the actual real mass of the system or of the electron or some particles inside the potential so it is an effect of the potential that is giving us the term effective mass so let us see how to get effective mass concept. So if we apply chronic penny model and you can check the chronic penny model and details in the previous video, it will be shared in the link. And so uh, we will get that the EK diagram or energy momentum curve or dispersion curve after solving chronic penny model, we see that they are discontinuous. So uh, we will have a nature of the EK diagram like this. And now, as you see, that classically we usually write ele uh, electron or uh, uh, energy of the electron as E equals to P square by twice M. And here M is the mass of the electron. Uh, and M can be written as P square by twice E or it can be written as H cross square K square by twice E. So this is the classical relationship. Here we take M equals to a constant value for a free electron uh, energy electrons having no external uh, potential it is free and now if you see here this m equals to h cross square k square by twice e so k square term here is in this curve it is not constant so let's say we talk uh, take this particular k value as k1 and this particular k value as k2 then we will see that mass will be changing and mass m1 could be written as h cross square k1 square by twice f e and similarly the mass m2 can be written as m2 square h cross square k2 square by twice e so this k value as k value is changing mass will also be changed let's say k1 is 3 then mass will be h cross square 9 by 2 ic. Let's say k2 is 2. Then mass m2 will be h cross square 4 by 2 ic. So here as change with the k value, we have effective mass or the mass value is changing. So this kind of behavior is only due to the nature of this potential or due to the nature of the ek, EK curve. And therefore, how do you represent effective mass? So let's say we have E equals to H cross square K square by twice M. So if we want to get the value of M, we take D by DK. That will be 2 H cross square K by twice M or H cross square K by M. And if we take double derivative, that is D2 E DK2, that will be H cross square by M. Or M star here that is represented as an effective mass or known as effective mass can be written as H cross square divided by del 2 E del K2. So this del 2 E del K2 that is the double derivative of the EK curve is the curvature of the EK diagram and see here this EK curve we will get the effective mass as a positive quantity and for here the effective mass we will get as a negative quantity so therefore this is a balance band and this is a conduction band so we don't uh, we don't say that the mass of the electron or effective mass of the electron is negative that could be absurd so therefore here we represent the holes that has effective mass of negative value that, that can be treated as a whole and here in the conduction band we can write it as a electron so this is the conduction band this is the balance band and this is the overall concept of the effective mass for the solid and as you see this is purely due to the potential or potential of the varied potential faced by electrons or holes in the crystal system 
So I hope you have understood the concept of effective mass and how it is different than the free mass of our the actual mass of the system. And hope uh, you like this video. Please share this video with all your, the new students. Thanks for liking this video. And if you like it, please share this video and subscribe to our channel. You can join our test series program, which we are conducting for CSI and NET June Physical Science. And also we pre provide interview guidance program, which could be helpful for you to prepare and be confident in your real interview uh, for like IITs, ISERs, and research institutes in India or outside India. Thank you so much for watching.